can say 120 okay for my input boxes and here I would be saying input type to text or input type to email or input type to password so it actually not gonna give any styles to this particular uh, register button because it's input type to submit I would be saying padding to 5 pixels and uh, a border to 1 pixel solid array okay with a border radius to 4 pixels and I can copy it for a couple of times to give the prefixes for the WebKit browsers and for the mouse. Okay, come back to refresh and let's see how they look. Okay, this looks pretty fine and I can give the same padding to my label as well. So, I'll refresh one more time. Now this looks pretty nice. I know the form is really big. If you people want, you can, you know, give more stylings. You can have the username on the left and email on the right. It depends upon the way you people want it. I'm just here to tell you how to validate this particular form with the PHP. Uh, now, guys, uh, I will be telling you a very, very easy way. But in case you people don't understand it, go ahead and leave some comments so that I can actually understand what things you are not able to understand. And I can help you better next time. Now, out here on the top, whether I can write the PHP script or I can include a file, and inside that file, I'm going to write the PHP script. So I would be saying include once, go to the scripts folder, and get the file called validate.php. Okay, now I will be going to my scripts folder, and I will be writing a file, and I will be naming it to validate dot php okay uh, this way I would be starting my PHP tags with uh, a list of the sign a question mark PHP and then with a you know question mark and included in sign and then I would be saying if uh, guys if and else is the most frequent statements that you will ever use in any kind of a programming language so you need to be you know very much good with that otherwise everything will go over your head but don't worry, I'm going to make sure that uh, the way I will explain, it will make sense to you. So I'm going to say if is set. Is set, if you're going to break it, it means if something is set, if something is ready to go. So if is set, but don't break it while writing, otherwise you're going to end with a PHP error. Okay, this is the way it needs to be. If is set, if there is something happening, that would be post submit. Now, let me explain it to you. If you people will notice, the name of our button is submit. And as I told you, PHP will only take care of this particular attribute, that's name. So I'm saying if there is a submit kind of a button is clicked or any kind of a function happened with submit. Now, the reason I wrote post out here, because we are using post out here. We are telling our form to transfer all data into the post away. This is the way PHP get data from any kind of a form. If you want to read more about it, go to php.net. But for now, just understand there are two ways to send data to PHP from a very normal form. And we are using post because post is more secure, like more secure. And out here, if I'm saying there is a post request, from the submit button then go ahead and echo you are working with a form you are working with a form okay just a very simple demo to make you guys understand how it's actually working so come back refresh till now we cannot see anything on this particular page because this button has not been clicked if i'm going to click on it out here it says you are working with a form because PHP got a request in the way of you know post and that happened with the submit button 
I believe that do make sense. So in this way, you can grab all the fields by using the same method that's dollar underscore post. Then I'm gonna say dollar username. We are creating a variable, and I would be saying is equals to dollar post username. That would be equals to this particular field. So whatever is inside this particular field, get that and put it in a variable that is username. And in PHP, if you want to create any kind of variables, you need to append a dollar sign. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, prepend a dollar sign. Then after username, we need the person's email. So I would be saying email is equal to dollar post email. <coughs> then after email we need last name but i have the first name for two time once again guys let me take it off okay i want to say first name is equal to dollar underscore first name dollar last name will be equal to dollar underscore post last name <laughs> in the same way I would be grabbing the password dollar password will be equal to dollar underscore post password dollar password two will be equal to dollar underscore post password two and then we need okay again I have a first name my gosh let me take it off Then I would be saying dollar dop that is date of birth is equal to dollar post <laughs> dop and then would be dollar address one will be equal to dollar underscore post address one dollar address two will be equal to dollar post address two then we need the person's town okay dollar town then we need the county that would be dollar underscore post county dollar post Code will be equal to dollar underscore post uh, post code and in the very last we need the contact number so let me check it out the name is contact number so with the same dollar post contact okay guys so what we are doing is first we are checking whether a submit button has been clicked or not if it has been clicked we want all the values from these fields and we want to put them inside uh, specific variables so out here we are able to create all kind of variables let me count up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay there are 13 variables so now as we are able to create all the variables that means we are able to get all the values now we can use our very simple logics in order to validate and if you have any questions till here then uh, you can always ask me why comments but uh, then i can run uh, again another if statement that will try to make sure which all fields are empty so i'm going to say if empty this is a php built-in function you don't have to understand what this function do or how this function actually working you just need to write if empty empty means if this particular field is null or there is no value inside it now let me say username okay then go ahead and echo uh enter username Okay, come back, refresh. Now, let me, it says undefined index address one. Okay. Uh, 
Let me check it out. Okay, out here I have address, not address one. So I'm gonna change it to address one. I'm gonna refresh again. Same thing. Okay, let me refresh from here. Now let me say register. It says enter username because this particular thing is null. If I'm gonna enter any blah blah blah. If I'm gonna hit submit, it's not gonna echo anything. So guys, it's it's very simple. We are saying PHP only echo this particular thing enter username if this field is empty. If this field does not contain anything. In the same way, you can validate number of fields. So let's say you want a person to enter the email as well. You can say R. R would be these two pipe signs. Then you can say empty dollar email and make sure that you're following the right syntax if always needs if you are writing anything that needs to be inside these two uh, brackets i would say so here is the first bracket then our you know function name that is empty then on which particular uh, field we want this empty function to work then that particular field name inside these two brackets then a R sign. This or this. Anything is not. Uh, if anything is empty, I'm sorry. Then again, the empty function. The next field, and in the very last, we are closing our if bracket. But until and unless you want your validation to work, you need to keep on writing them inside this if bracket. <laughs> or empty dollar first name. Okay, or empty dollar last name, or you know what? Uh, let leave the last name like that. It's not mandatory, right? We don't want everyone to write their last name if the people don't want to write it. So we can leave the last name thing to be optional. But again, it depends upon you. If you want it for your project, you can just you know add another R statement, and it will start working for you. So I'm gonna say if empty dollar password or empty dollar password two. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna say or empty dollar dop. empty dollar address one and again we can leave the address two to optional it's not mandatory uh, empty dollar town okay or empty dollar postcode or empty dollar content or you know what don't leave this contact to like don't don't make it mandatory again everyone is not you know forced to enter their contact number if they don't want you to see their contact number so let me go through the entire code what I want to do it, uh, out here uh, I'm running a very simple if statement and the if statement is matching if the username is empty or this is empty or this is empty that means if any of the single field is empty it's not gonna go forward it's gonna break it out here and it's gonna echo this particular message and let me tell you one more thing guys php is a procedural language it start working from very top then it will start executing the code till the bottom if there is any error out here it's gonna stop the code out there so if the if is not like i'm sorry if the if is true then it's gonna stop at the if and it will never go to any 